Ever notice someone walking like this? What about this? See the difference? If you're gonna meet a person for the first time and they see you in either case, they already made a split decision on you. Why? Because that's how the brain operates. People make split decisions on people just by looking at them. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 things to help you improve the way that you are coming across to people. Let's get into the video. The person that has no spine, sitting like a worm, this is showing people that person that has no confidence. You have a spine, so never be hunched over in any situation. So from now on, chin up, shoulders back, open chest, stand tall, and people will start looking at you differently. You don't ask people where to sit, just choose where to sit and do it. Sitting down, legs parallel to your body, and you lean back, not forward. Sitting down, claim space. Have your stuff across the table. Men take space. This shows to people you are claiming the surroundings. This is mine, without saying it. How you look at people. Eyes. Always look people in the eyes. Your brain wants to help you process information about the person that is in front of you. When you start looking people in the eyes, you start noticing some patterns. If there's a connect or disconnect between what they're saying and what they're really saying. How you talk. There was this guy at a shopping mall that conducted an experience. He had a line on the floor and asked people not to cross it. When he talked like this, everyone crossed it. When he said to people, do not cross the line, nobody crossed it. You don't need to be shouting to people, but it just shows you that unconsciously, when you talk to people with a tonality, with open voice and projected voice outwards, people will perceive you differently. If you like this type of content and want to keep improving yourself, I have a line of recommended products for men's self-care and recommended books. You can use the Amazon's link in the description. Let's get back to the video. Hands. Hands speak a ton about a person. Start letting go of your hands when you are communicating. It conveys an openness to people because you are using space, you're using your hands to communicate. You have more space, you're not just standing stiff like this. You see what I mean? Why do you think I use my hands so much? Learn to pause and breathe. And this is a big one. When you're talking to someone, if you're talking like really fast without even having time to breathe, that's a problem. If you're in charge, you're the owner. Nobody rushes you. Think about the mob guy, the boss, right? Imagine like it's an older guy, right? He takes his time. He's not rushed by anybody. See what I mean? Start acting like this. You'll start gaining more control of a conversation. Nail biting, fidgeting when you're talking to people that conveys you being nervous. Stop doing it. It shows you as a more calmer person. Know where you're going. Before going anywhere, make a decision before you move. This shows to people that you have a sense of direction. A simple example, let's say you enter an hotel lobby room, right? You go to the reception and you have like four or five people there, right? You made a decision to go talk to that person, right? Not the other one or the other one on the side, even if they talk to you. You made a decision to talk to that person. That shows to people you have a sense of direction. So start doing this constantly and you start seeing that people see you as a person with a sense of direction. Listening. This is the key trait of people with better social skills. They're better listeners. How do they do it? Because they are not the ones doing all the talking. And this is the key thing. This is the exercise for you to do. How can you talk with this person, but being the one talking less? What I mean by less is being more efficient in what you are saying. When you start using your energy to speaking less, but focusing on that person, you start interpreting that person better, making a better assessment of the situation. If you can't do that, if you are the one doing all the talking. So you start saving your energy to seeing that person and try to interpret that person. So that in the end, you'll be more accurate in answering the main question, which is, what is it that this person wants? And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I make more videos like this. Peace.